Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 17th of January, 2019. You know what June 1st to November 30th is? Huh? Well, if you don't know, you soon will know. It's hurricane season. Hurricane season starts June 1st and it ends on November 30th. Now, last year, if you recall, was horrific. We had a number of monstrous storms slam into the United States and other parts of the world. Just read an article, going to attach the link, it's posted by National Geographic, written by Alexandra Borunda, that's B-O-R-U-N-D-A, title, 2018 was the ocean's hottest year. We'll feel it a long time. The ocean soaks up 93% of the heat of climate change, but that heat has a big and long lasting impact. It isn't just the hurricanes and the tornadoes. It's a whole lot more. I don't believe it's climate change. I believe it's just change. The earth is going through a change. That Paris Accord that Obama signed was absolute bullcrap. All the onus was on America, whereas China and India are much larger polluters than America. Earth oceans are warmer now than at any point since humans started systematically tracking their temperatures, according to research published on January 16th in Advances in Atmospheric Science, the oceans have sopped up more than 90% of the heat trapped by human-emitted greenhouse gases. How about all those forest fires in northern and southern California, both in 2017 and 2018? Huh? How about those fires in Spain? You don't think that they helped create all that smog as well? The oceans have sopped up more than 90% of the heat trapped by humans emitted greenhouse gases, slowing the warming of the atmosphere, but causing many other unwelcome changes on the planet's climate. What they're trying to do is they're pushing the carbon tax. They can't figure out enough ways to screw the American people. Even a slightly warmer ocean can have dramatic impact. Other new research shows the warmer oceans make waves stronger. Warmer waters fuel stronger storms, increasing the damage that hurricanes and tropical storms inflict. The added warmth hurts coral habitats and stresses fisheries. Around Antarctica, yet another new study suggests ice is melting about six times faster than it was in the 1980s. An increase due in part to the warmer waters lapping at the continent's edge. The oceans are the best thermometer we have for the planet, says Zeke Hausfather, an energy and climate scientist at the University of California, Berkeley, who used the ocean's heat data published today in an analysis published last week in Science. We can really see global warming loud and clear in the ocean record. Hmm. Folks, um, like I said, if you're anywhere along the coast, the Atlantic coast, if you're in the Houston area, you're in the Carolinas, you're in Louisiana, you're going to get smacked really, really hard, as will Florida. Last year was just a prelude to what's going to happen this year. Do I believe climate change exists? No. I believe it's a natural process that the Earth's going through. And all they're trying to do is push a carbon tax to take more out of your wallets. 
You're entitled to think whatever you like, as am I. You want to read the rest of the article, it's most interesting. And again, June 1st to November 30th, between those months, there's going to be massive devastation. It isn't just America. England, Ireland, the entire world's at risk. Read the article, pass it along to like-minded friends, repost it in your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.